Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? I'm Ashley, of course. Let's just see what's happening, Virgo. Let's just see what's going on. General, not personal, okay? So for that reason, you will have to take what resonates, Virgo. And if you feel like it does not, fine by me. Just leave it behind. It might not be for you. First things first, Virgo, you have the seven of swords, okay? What is this spirit? Let's clarify. There's something that's being revealed or something that's being exposed, okay? So first things first, Virgo, you are going through a transformation, right? And in this transformation that you are going through, it's like there could be downloads that you are receiving or certain things that are just coming to you, like certain things that are just making sense, that are just happening, okay? Again, like I said, Virgo, it kind of feels like whatever is happening, whatever is going on, Virgo, it just kind of feels like, again, you are moving forward. It's like the higher you... You get the more things are revealed to you the higher you get the more things are exposed i just kind of feel like with this energy virgo you are ascending you are moving to a higher level and in doing so virgo there may be some things that you have to turn your back from there may be some things that you have to heal that you have to isolate yourself from in a way again like i said virgo i'm not sure again who this is that's talking or who this is that's upset virgo but again like i said it just kind of feels Feels like with this energy someone refuses to take accountability or they don't think they're wrong or whatever the case but it's almost like you have a lot of background noise and I feel like that's how you know you're doing something right uh-huh Virgo it's like you have a lot of background noise you have a lot of chatter you have a lot of gossip and again like I said I feel like that's how you know you're doing something right again I do see that with this queen of swords it does indicate that Virgo you have been having to stand your ground as of lately I'm not sure exactly what's been going on I'm not sure exactly what's been happening but again like I said Virgo one second Okay, so again, like I said, Virgo, I feel like you're ascending. I feel like you're moving to the next level. But again, whatever is happening or going on, it's like, I don't know what this is. There's just this secrets that's revealed, things that are exposed, something that's not making you feel too happy or fulfilled with whatever this is that you're finding out. But it's almost like spirit is wanting you to know that this is okay. You know, don't allow this to stress you or worry you. This is how you know that you're moving to the next level. This is how you know that things are changing. I see you having to be a lot more assertive than what you've had to be before, Virgo. I see that you've had to set a lot more boundaries in this new chapter or the more you ascend I don't know Virgo it's like the more you ascend the more you have to be like okay this is not acceptable the more you ascend the more you have to decide you know there's just certain things that you're not going to do not going to accept okay again spirit what do you want Virgo to know in regards to the seven of swords that you're very stable Virgo that you're very grounded and so it's almost like someone feels like they can kind of get over on you or almost feels like they can put you in this energy of being stuck or put you in this energy of not being that queen of pentacles not being balanced again like i said almost not wanting you to move forward or i don't know like trying to create some type of injustice for you okay because you are like the chosen one, like I said, it seems like someone's trying to trigger you or trying to get under your skin. There seems to be some type of delay. There seems to be something that's not moving forward. Mm-hmm. I see that Virgo, if anything, you're keeping your distance. You're wanting to be left alone. I'm not sure exactly what type of news or what type of information comes your way, Virgo. But again, like I said, I feel like with whatever this is, you're like, I don't have time. Like I said, I don't see you taking any type of action. I don't see you taking any type of plans. I see you kind of Xing it out. Mm-hmm. Xing it out, cutting it out, and moving forward, Virgo. Again, like I said, I see that you are releasing. You are literally letting go whatever doesn't serve you. You're like, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not going up and down, Virgo. You're like, I'm going through a transformation, baby, and it is what it is. I'm going through a transformation, and I'm moving forward. I ain't got time for stupid things, you know. I don't have time for things that don't serve me. Again, like I said, you are just truly in this energy, Virgo, of almost like letting go and letting go. You know, letting go and letting your higher power handle it all. Kind of feels like there's this energy of surrendering. You're like, whatever is happening behind my back, it'll come out. Whatever is happening that I need to know, I will know. Spirit, is there anything that Virgo needs to know that you should hold back? 
Spirit says don't allow anyone to take advantage of you, Virgo, to hold back, to absolutely hold back. Don't allow them to treat you this way, talk to you this way, Virgo. Create some daggone boundaries. Uh-uh. You think that they're going to treat you this way, talk to you this way, take advantage of you, and it's supposed to be okay? It's not. It's not so spirit says, uh-uh, especially because it's about to be your season. Hold back even more, okay? Hold back even more. Seriously, don't nobody have time. I see that you're happy, Virgo. It's like the more you hold back, the happier you are. The more you don't give, the happier you shall be. I am not even making it up the Queen of Cups because it's like taking advantage. It's like trying and play with you. It's like don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm very giving. I do a lot, but don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I can easily flip that damn switch. You know what I'm saying? And once I flip the switch, that's it. You know what I mean? So I see it's almost like, Virgo, you got to flip the switch. Because again, like I said, whoever or whatever this is just knows that you're going to be there. Just takes advantage. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Virgo. They got you messed up. They got you so messed up. But that's okay. That's okay, Virgo, because you're releasing that. Spirit says release that burden. Release that weight. I see you feeling very happy. I see you feeling very good. You could have some good news coming in, Virgo. Okay, you could have something coming in that requires you to move quick. I see you making some type of plans. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure there could be some type of message or information. I see you reading something, studying it. I'm not sure exactly what happens, but like I said, you're releasing. It's like this big old energy of like just throwing it all away. Like just throwing it all away and starting fresh, yup. Mm hmm Virgo. Yeah, because you're like, I don't have time. I deserve so much more. Mm hmm Spirit, what's the outcome for Virgo? Because you're not stuck, Virgo. You could have felt stuck at one point, but you're not. You'll be getting a lot of rest, Virgo. You may be taking a nap. You could have felt this huge energy of stress surrounding you, Virgo, of anxiety, nervousness. But I see that all of that is fading. You're able to get some rest. You're able to quiet your mind. I see you have money coming in. Mm -hmm. You could be doing things a bit different, Virgo, or switching something up. But again, like I said, I see that you have money coming in. Again, like I said, I see that with this Three of Pentacles. Let's see. You had this energy of teamwork. You had this energy of collaborations and someone wanting to work together with you. But again, like I said, Spirit is saying that you're having to use your judgment about working together with them. Okay, I don't know if you feel like you need a second opinion, but I feel like if you feel like you need a second opinion, then you already know that you shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're unsure, then you already know because something's causing you to have some doubts. Excuse me. Yeah, something's causing you to have some doubts. But again, like I said, I just don't see you. I don't see you pushing forward with it. Again, like I said, with that page of cups, I kind of see you staying to yourself. Mm -hmm. Again, that eight of pentacles energy. Yup, yup, yup. Working less Virgo, chilling, like I said, whatever this is, I see you switching something up, doing something different. There could be some type of help or something that comes in. But again, like I said, you just have to be careful of who you allow in your energy, who you allow in your space, Virgo. I see you, like I said, again, just kind of um, looking at things different. It's like just kind of going through this energy where you're like i don't know if i should remove this if i should keep this if i should do this it's like just changing up everything literally i just see you changing up everything yeah yep virgo i surely do i surely do okay yep you have the ten of cups but not uh, page of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, so we're done. I see that there's something that's changing. There's something that you're releasing, but we said that already. Uh, you could have been back and forth about it, but like I said, Spirit says you don't need anyone else. Listen to what makes you feel good. Listen to what you know that you should do. Your intuition is very on point right now. Like I said, if it feels like you should hold back, hold back. You know what I'm saying? If it feels like you shouldn't work with them, don't work with them. You know what I'm saying? Just that simple. Okay? With that being said, Virgo, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Be safe, and God bless.